The cars of the future will do more than drive you around, and autonomous vehicles won't just be confined to the roads. At CES in Las Vegas, Intel showed off the Volocopter. It's designed to be an air taxi, autonomously flying you around a city from point A to point B. The great potential lies in using these on-demand, you know, summoned via an app, just like an Uber today, shared uh, service that we offer. As for self-driving cars, the focus is shifting. If cars can start driving themselves, then we need to be entertained. Movie screen in the dash and swiveling seats so I can chat with my passengers. Electric car maker Byton has created what they're calling a digital lounge in their concept car. You would use hand gestures for controls and your face to unlock the car and customize your ride. If you do have to steer, you may not have to use your hands. Nissan is working on what it calls brain-to-vehicle technology, which reads your brain waves to help control the car. CNET's Roadshow editor, Emmy Hall, tried it out. If I'm deciding to turn left or turn right, and it's going to basically put that input in a little bit quicker, essentially reducing my reaction time up to a half a second. Samsung has a concept car that can help you decide what to make for dinner. I don't know what I need from the grocery store, so I'm just going to tap this refrigerator button. And next thing you know, I'm making a live feed of what's inside of it, and I know exactly what I have to pick up and how much of it. It's not clear if this tasty technology will actually make it to market, but it gives us an idea of what's coming down the road. I'm CNET's Cara Suboy for CBS News, Las Vegas.